What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, yeah, it turns out that actually, um, a lot of Digimon cards have gone and been revealed. So let's just say over the next few days, you're going to be seeing uh, quite a few Digimon videos from me. And then somewhat upsettingly, you're, you're going to see fewer Digimon videos from me just because all the cards will have been revealed. But don't worry. I will still be covering the Digimon TCG in as much detail as I possibly can because I'm kind of obsessed with this game and I absolutely love it. So, you know, why not? Speaking of which, what is this? Okay, seriously, I'm, I'm new to Digimon. It seems just like a giant house-sized bear with a bunch of balloons. Incidentally, the giant house-sized bear... Monzaemon is a Japanese name. I'll, I'll pop the English name at the top here. I'm sure we'll feature him in a different video at some point down the road, but I did have to just point out, look at him go! I mean, level 5 Digimon, 5 to play normally, 2 cost to evolve, 6,000 power is... It, it's all fine. It's not particularly good. It's not particularly bad. It's, 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 it's fine. But come on. How could I not give a mention to this one as I go? But what I want to do in this video, the first video since they've all dropped, I want to talk about the level 6 Digimon that we've not talked about yet. Now, we have talked about a bunch of level 6 Digimon. However, there are, from what I can see, and if I have missed any, as always, there is a comment section, let me know. I can see two level 6s, one red, one blue, that have yet to be revealed and spoiled. Which means we need to reveal them and spoil them on this video, except we're not spoiling them. We are celebrating them, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to have a little bit of a start off with Break Drum On, which apparently is like a JCB. Cool. Now, as a level 6, we've got a 12 cost to play normally, 3 cost to evolve, 11,000 power, all of which seems eminently sensible, seems about what we would expect, and that really does seem, incidentally, this does seem to be the standard stat line for a level 6 in New Evolution. Back in the starter decks, we were not terribly surprised to see an evolution cost of 4, that was fairly standard, and as a side note, when you don't have an ability, we expect a 10 cost to play normally normally 2 cost to evolve, and often 12,000 power, but it seems about right. And it's got pierce. Simple as that. It has got pierce. When you attack a Digimon and defeat it, i.e. when you take out a resting Digimon, you're only allowed to attack resting Digimon, you perform a security check as well. This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Because you see, ladies and gentlemen, most of the time, what you're left doing is choosing between taking out a resting Digimon or taking out a security. Breakdramon does not ask you to choose. It says, you know what, mate? I've got your back here. You do whatever you like. You can have one of each. And I very much appreciate that. Here's my problem. I'm not entirely sure, outside of the fact that I'm playing a red deck... I'm not sure why I'm playing this over Granku Wagamon, or however you pronounce it. Because you see, the green dude here, oh, now okay, it is a 13 cost to play normally rather than a 12 cost. And it is a 4 cost to evolve rather than a 3 cost. But it also has Pierce. And on your turn, and it is only on your turn, you add 4,000 power to this Digimon. Now, on your opponent's turn, when you're resting and they're attacking you, you've only got 11,000 power, you're easier to take out. And it does make a difference. I mean, take something, for instance, like a War Greymon, for instance, the one from the starter decks, that's got 12,000 power. So on your turn, you've got 15,000 power, you take it out, and don't forget, you've also got Pierce, so you'll take it out and then perform a security check. On your opponent's turn, however... You've only got 11,000 power, so War Greymon will be able to come along with its 12,000 power, and then it will actually get a KO on you. So it does make a difference. But the fact of the matter is, you do have 15,000 power on your turn, and make no mistake about it, this gives you a rather gigantic advantage. I know it's one more to play, and I know it's one more to evolve, but if I'm perfectly honest with you, that this is my choice. If I'm playing a red deck and I don't want to play any green cards, 
then I, I suppose, fine, it's not really a choice anymore. I'm probably not playing Granku Agamon. But if I am playing a deck where I've got a choice, I would much rather have the extra 4,000 power, even if I've got to pay an extra one to play and one to evolve. But if you want a red, big, bold Digimon that's got Pierce, Breakdramon does have your back, so I suppose there is that. Now, there is one other level 6 that was revealed today that has not been revealed before. It's that liony one, Saber Leomon. Now, I know Leomon has... I don't watch the anime, I'm getting into it now. But it does seem like it's got a bit of a reputation for d dying a lot. The good news is Saber Leomon is an evolution above that. Now, what we see here is an 11 cost to play normally which is cheaper than we usually expect. But it's got 10,000 power, which is less than we would usually expect. So we do get a slightly cheaper level 6 Digimon, but it is at the cost of 1,000 power. Is it worth it? Well, when you evolve, you discard the bottom evolution source from one of your opponent's Digimon. Okay. It's a very standard blue card. It is very much the kind of thing that blue cards tend to do. Blue cards have so many effects that either remove evolution sources from the bottom of your opponent's Digimon, or gain an advantage because you have removed an evolution source, or indeed all the evolution sources, from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. So to go back to the starter deck, we've got the Tamer, that at the beginning of your turn, if your opponent has any Digimon with no evolution sources, gives you plus one memory. Less of a fan of that one, because as I've said a couple of times, it's at the beginning of your turn, so your opponent has got to end their turn with a Digimon without an evolution source, and that's very much more in their control. But I love something like Rare Garurumon, and I do think there is an awesome combo here with Rare Garurumon. Because it's got an inheritable skill, whereby while your opponent has a Digimon with no evolution sources, you get security attack plus one. So what you do is you evolve into Saber Leomon, remove the only evolution source from one of your opponent's Digimon, then they do have a Digimon with no evolution sources, and then you get security attack plus one. I'm going to be honest with you here, this is one of the level sixes I am least excited about. I don't know how much I love this. I like that it's slightly cheaper. And I do like that it's an evolution skill rather than a play skill. And I do like that we're getting rid of a Digimon from an evolution source, which is going to fuel the blue deck generally. But I don't like that it's weaker. Because even when I've got security attack plus one, I'm still sitting there as a 10,000 power, which I'm not loving. And I just think we've got better options. I mean, if you want to remove evolution sources, we've literally got like a Gabumon. And Gabumon is not exactly some big giant powerhouse Digimon, but we've got a Gabumon that when you attack removes an evolution source. And okay, it's an attack and it's an inheritable skill, but it's only on a level three. And then we've got a Garurumon that's got the same thing. I suppose I should mention that the Gabumon doesn't work on level six or seven Digimon, but otherwise it does. And Zudamon, when you evolve, you get to remove two evolution sources from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. And that's got the same evolution cost, but it's a level five rather than a level six. And then you can evolve into a better level six. I mean, the, there is only actually one other level six in new evolution from blue. It is the Metal Garurumon. And you basically get to take a level four or lower Digimon in the evolution sources of Metal Garurumon when you attack and play it as its own card without having to pay for it. Like, for instance, all oh, gee whiz, I don't know, the Garurumon, that when you play it, you get to make one of your Digimon active and then use it again? So I'm sorry, Saber Leomon, I want to love you. I want to sit here and gush about how great you are and talk about how fun you are, but actually... When it comes down to it, I don't think it's a particularly impressive or good card. I'm not saying it's out-and-out out garbage, and I'm not saying there's no reason to play it. 
But I am saying that compared to other level 6 blue Digimon, I mean, the Metal Gururumon in the starter set makes itself active when it attacks. So I'm not loving this as a level 6. And in terms of removing evolution sources on evolution, I don't know why this is better than Zudamon, other than the fact that it leaves you with a level 6. But you could just evolve into Zudamon and then evolve into a better level 6. So I'm afraid neither of these level 6s are really setting my deck building brain on fire. But I do think there are uses for them. Maybe just not as much as some of the other level 6s. I should mention the translations here come from Google Translate. Because using Google Translate and my knowledge of the cards we've seen so far, it seems pretty obvious what they do. I'm sorry if I've done a silly. Actually, I don't even think it's Google Translate. I think it's just the official website puts them in English. Cool. Either way, cheers, website or Google, whoever helped me out. But I want to know what you think about these level sixes, ladies and gentlemen. So let me know in the comment section. Got up, me nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash PTCG radio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, all kinds of fun stuff. But by far the most important thing as always. Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.